Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the media item volume control in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a vocal track. And as we can see, I've already cut up different phrases so I can readjust the volume of each. And by default, we could do that by putting the cursor right up here, see how it changes, and we can readjust the volume right here. Just pull it down and it makes it quieter. We'll bring it up and we can do the same with each item in our project. But as you can tell, we can't go above zero. We can go from zero all the way down, but we can't go above unless we change a preference. So let's go to the options menu and choose preferences. Then we can scroll down under appearance and choose media. And right over here, we can readjust our handle to adjust the volume of each item. By default, it's set to zero dB is at the top of the item, but we could change it to be in the center of the item. And if we choose this, it moves the handle in the middle, but we could still adjust it, but we could also bring it above zero. Plus three, plus four, and so on. So we can cut it or boost it in this mode. So I can make my vocal track or these phrases a bit more even. But there's one other way we could do this. Let's go back to the preferences. And we could also choose to add a volume knob right here. Just choose it. And now up here on the top left corner of each item, there's a volume knob we could adjust. Bring it down or up. And as you can see, we're still seeing the volume handle, but we could turn that off if we want. Under handle, just change it to no handle. And we're still going to see the volume knob separately from the handle. So that volume adjustment is gone over here, but we still have the volume knob. We can make it lower or louder to readjust the volume of our items, just like this. Now, if we want to reset it back to zero, we can just double click the button, double click each one to bring them back to the default, which is zero dB. In other words, no change. And we could also adjust them together just by selecting multiple items. And if we adjust it with the button, they all move together. And this will also work with the handle. Adjust them together right from here. But if we want to set them back to the default, we have to do that separately by double clicking each one. Now, if we're dealing with a section like this, where each phrase is the same item, it's going to adjust it all together. But the solution to that is to just split our items to create separate items to adjust separately. Put our cursor right here, type S, and that splits them. By each phrase, so we can adjust them separately. This one, and this one, and this one. Although I'd recommend before we split our items to choose this preference under Project Media Item Defaults, that's going to create a crossfade when we split our items. I have it set to 50 milliseconds. So now if we split our items, type S, it puts a crossfade from one item to the other. This way, if we change our volume level drastically like this, we're not going to hear any clicks and pops from this section to this one. It's going to be a bit smoother as it crossfades from this one to this one and this one. So if you're doing a lot of drastic changes, I recommend turning on that preference. Now it's important to realize that when we adjust 
our item volume, it's happening pre-fader and pre-effects. So if you have a compressor or a limiter on the track, make sure you adjust this before you adjust the threshold on those plugins, as it's gonna affect how hard we hit our effects. So you might wanna change your threshold after you readjust the volume, or at least tweak it after you change it from here. Now, if you don't wanna adjust the item levels like this, we could also use a pre-effects and pre-fader envelope. Go over here to the envelopes and just choose volume pre-effects. And we can adjust the envelope down here. Hold on control on the PC or command on the Mac and just draw and see the changes in real time. Make it lower or louder. Or we could adjust them in segments. Create a time selection from here to here. Hold on control shift on the PC or command shift on the Mac. And we could adjust the line segment like this. Make it louder or lower. And we could do it without splitting our items. So if we just want to change the level for this note right here, create a time selection and adjust the line segment right here without having to split our items. But it can still be a bit quicker just to do it from here. Just grab it and readjust phrase by phrase on our track. Now this is also gonna work for MIDI. I have a piano track right here that sounds like this. By default, we could put our cursor up here and bring it down, but it does work a bit differently. It doesn't really change the volume. Instead, it adjusts the velocities, as we can see right here. Right now it's 0.65, so it's 65% of the velocity that was played. So it's gonna be quieter, but it's also gonna sound like it was played softer, like this. But again, we can only lower it with the default mode, but we can change it right here to put the volume at the center. So now we can make it quieter. Or louder. But again, we're changing the velocity not really changing the volume. So you could bring it down to 0.5 and the velocity will be half as hard as it was played. Or we could bring it up to two and it's gonna be double what was played. And again, we could change it from handles Let's hide these and choose the volume knob, or in this case, the velocity knob. And now we could adjust the velocities from here. On an item by item basis. So that's pretty much it. That's the media item volume control in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.